When they're blue, they're ripe, and when they're ripe, it's time for them to be harvested. It's at this time that blueberries, having basked in the sun for several weeks, reach their most palate-pleasing flavor and sweetness. But it's at this time also that blueberries become fragile and easily bruised. That's why conventional wisdom has growers believing that hand harvesting of crops best provides gentle removal from plants. But another far more efficient way to bring in the blueberry crop could be in growers' futures. Fumi Takeda of USDA's Agricultural Research Service is part of a team working to add gentle handling to mechanical harvesting of blueberries. Blueberries can be machine harvested for fresh market, and many growers are doing that. But when you analyze the blueberries harvested by conventional over-the-road machines, we know that there's a tremendous amount of bruise damage inside the fruit. Such bruising isn't likely to be visible to casual observers because it occurs beneath the berry's skin. Factor in transportation time, and the likelihood of spoilage puts growers using conventional over-the-row mechanical harvesters at a disadvantage for shipping machine-harvested blueberries to distant markets. Here at the University of Florida, our research is in response to Florida growers facing an increasing economic challenge. Hand harvesting of blueberries is the single greatest cost in Florida blueberry production. Harvest labor is an area where their production costs could be greatly reduced, so one of the team's goals was to develop an over-the-row harvester that minimizes damage to berries during harvest. The new machine described in this video represents the culmination of five years of research in the field and laboratory. If blueberries are not damaged internally, then those fruit could be stored for a longer time or uh, shipped long distances. So what we're trying to do with this harvester here is to uh, minimize this impact damage or bruise damage to the fruit. Funding for development of the berry-friendly harvesters comes from a National Institute of Food and Agriculture Specialty Crop Research Program grant. There were several contributors to the design of the mechanical harvesters from across the United States. And we also have collaboration with industry in this project. And project people are working with Oxbow International Corporation in Linden, Washington. Brian Foote of Oxbow International says his company's Model 8040 harvesters have already proven their effectiveness in harvesting berries for one market. We use them for fresh market, but you'll be able to ship that fruit for longer distances maybe than we are today with a conventional harvester. A lot of growers like this machine in the southeast United States because it's a single drop unit. It's very maneuverable. Uh, a lot of the land down here can be swampy and you could get into adverse picking conditions. Today, Foot is part of a team comparing berries picked from an Oxbow 8040 mechanical harvester to berries being handpicked from bushes in adjacent rows. Successful mechanical harvesting begins with a challenge that will pose no difficulty to researchers or farmhands pick only ripe berries while leaving those that are still green or red on the bush. Foote says it's a matter of growers setting up the machine to match their crop varieties. Helping is the nature of the blueberry. When ripe, the berries are more easily separated from stems. Foote says the harvester's picking head speed is adjustable, that its role in proper timing helps achieve such separation as gently as possible while leaving unripe fruit for the next pick. In the harvester, soft surface catcher plates continue the gentleness, providing a cushioned surface for the fruit to land on as it goes through a series of blowers and conveyor belts until it is deposited into containers called lugs. Within just a few minutes of this sampling's completion, the process is repeated using a conventional over-the-row harvester. Dr. Stephen Sargent, UFIFA's horticultural science professor, is on hand to monitor the sampling, which will compare fruit quality of both mechanical harvesters with blueberries that have been hand-picked in the same field at the same time. The old expression, the proof is in the pudding, applies here. 
Sargent's research tracks blueberry quality from harvest through packing, where the hand and mechanically harvested berries are first cooled. Then, off-color and soft fruit are removed by automated sorters. From there, the selected berries are conveyed past graders who remove any remaining defective fruits before packing. Sargent samples fruit at each of these key points during packing for further testing of firmness, bruising, and storage quality. While the University of Florida does not endorse products used in this video, the bottom line of the research study summarizes five years of progress in the evolution of mechanical blueberry harvesting in Florida.